What's up guys, how you guys doing? My name is A Max with the Facts and I want to tell everybody Happy New Year! 2019 is coming up. Just to let you guys know, I'm in a park here in Taichung, Taiwan. Right now I'm here to discuss to you what is New Year's all about. New Year's is basically the day where most of us want to change, we want to develop for the years that's about to come. Any issues that we have this year, we're going to solve it for next year. Now, basically, we're supposed to solve our issues on the next day, but I'm just speaking from a general, from a general level. Um, before I tell you what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to tell you what were my accomplishments for this year, and yeah, so here we go. So, 2018 was more of an introspective year. It was more introspective than how it was in 2017 and 2016. Uh, 2016, 2017, those were the years that I started focusing on money, uh, started building, um, you know, finances, uh, focusing on my job, uh, also going out, seeing all over Taiwan, and going to the nightlife, going to bars, going to nightclubs, drinking, partying, you name it. That was like my main thing to to focus on. 2018 was more of a year where, again, like I said, focusing on myself, being more introverted, knowing more about myself, and started becoming more responsible about a lot of things. More responsible by, by finances, more responsible about health, more responsible about relationships, more responsible about reconciling with family, reconciling with friends, you name it. And something else I wanted to say, whether you think it, whether it's controversial or not, whether you're a believer or not, again, well, I think one of the greatest things that happened to me is that I became a born again Christian. I believe that I found Christ. And yeah, I became, I started reading the Bible. I started going to church a little bit more. And I really think, like, I don't know, like a different side of me came out where, I'm, I mean, I'm not one of, the, I'm one of the type of Christians that just go out and just convert people just to convert. And I'm not here to convert people. I like to, if I am going to convert someone, I'm not going to tell you by words. I'm going to show you by action because, again, action speaks louder than words. But I don't want to digress. Uh, i just saying, personally for me, finding Christ was one of the greatest things I think that happened to me this year. But a lot of great things have happened. I, I've seen different sides of Taiwan. I've seen different, I see, I mean, I visited Kenting, which was great. It was beautiful. I went to Hawaiian, Hawaiian, I don't know if I pronounced that right, Hawaiian. Well, I have, a, I, have a, I have an American accent, Southern American accent, so I'm going to say it, Hawaiian. I was there, great time. Again, beautiful weather, great adventure. The nature was excellent. Just great time, enjoying the beach. It was very nice. Um, and also creating more personal videos uh, for the AWF series. I never really show people my personality. Uh, so that will be something I'm definitely going to be focusing on for 2019. Now speaking of 2019, I'm going to tell you what are the changes that I'm personally going to do. Number one, I'm going to focus solely on Chinese. Yes, I will try to watch more Chinese movies, listen to more the Taiwanese hits or the or the Mandarin speaking hits here in Taiwan. I really want to learn Mandarin. The reason why I have not learned Mandarin during my three years period here is because I my job was to teach someone else my language for the majority of the day instead of learning the language here in Taiwan. It's sad, but it's true. So I said to myself, I do not want to leave Taiwan and I have not learned Mandarin. And I've been living here for three years. That's pathetic to me. That's pathetic. That's pitiful. Personally to me, am I speaking to anyone here who been living here for 15 years or 20 years and have not learned any Chinese? I'm just speaking personally to me. I just think that it's pitiful that I have not learned that much Mandarin here. So next year, my, one of my main goals is to learn Mandarin. The second thing I, I want to change or want to focus on is health. Now, this year I really did pretty well on health, drinking a lot more water, eating more vegetables, being, being more, uh, more observant about what I put in my body and also what I put in my mind. Because health is not just physical, it's also mental. And the beginning of this year, I'll be honest, I, I was sick for about a month and a half. I was more drowsy, I had more stomach aches, I don't know what it was. It, it just, I, I, I felt I was more depressed, I felt like I was more old, I don't know what was going on. And you know, I went to the, like to the hospital every now and then, and it was like different symptoms or you know different situations. And I said, you know what? What is the natural way of getting better? So what I did in March, I started to you know eat more fruit, eat more vegetables, drink more water, and I walked every morning, and I also walked every night to see if that worked. Um, 
I put TV away. I put the iPhone away. I put. I did not use any. I did not use any electronics for seven days. All right. This was like a one week. Um, it was like a one week challenge. So no TV, no internet, no chocolate, no fat foods, no coffee, no sugar, just fruits, vegetables, fish and chicken here and there, and water and a little bit of green tea. I read and I studied for seven days. The first three days, it was hell, okay? Those three days, the first three days was hell. I was, I couldn't sleep. I was like, Urgh. I said, I'm going to keep on going. The last four days, it wasn't until like the fourth day. It was Thursday. It was, uh, yeah, it was Thursday. And on Thursday, I started to feel a change. My, my, uh, my, my vocabulary got, was more developed. My awareness was more developed. My speed and my energy, like the way I was walking, I wasn't tired. I, I, be, I was beginning to wake up early in the morning without feeling drowsy. Um, I didn't feel sick that much. And then on Sunday, I felt excellent. I felt great. I, my whole, I, I just changed. And I really think it just came down to like personal choices and routine. I just had an unhealthy routine. And I, and I did that for about, you know, for about three weeks. For about, you know, for another three weeks, I, did, I just studied and whatever and after the third week I went back to my old routine again and yeah but I, I, I said to myself let me let me amplify that for 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 2019 let me focus just solely on health and see where that let's see where that will get me for 2020 for the next decade right this is the last decade this is the last decade of the of the year 2019 so yeah 2018, like I said, 2018 wasn't a bad year. There were a lot of ups, and of course, there were a lot of challenges, and there were a lot of, you know, a lot of downs. But I've been blessed too. I've been blessed with relationship. I've been blessed with a with a better job. I've been blessed um, with more opportunities, with better network. I've been blessed with new ideas for for 2019. So, yeah, this this year has been great. I've also been blessed seeing different sides of Taiwan, seeing more of nature, be more outgoing, meeting new people in Taiwan. Better people. Not better people. Just just when I say better, I mean just new people. Just new positive people. Like the people I met before were, were, were just as great. But 2018, although it was very introspective, although I was more introverted, although I did not uh, go to, you know go to the nightlife that much, it, it was it was still positive in its own way. And I want to thank God for for blessing me for 2018 i want to see what what 29 will, will will bring us i hope more i hope more positive things will come along the way um so for me 2019 i'm going to listen to more positive music more spiritual music i'll watch more positive movies like comedies and uh yeah comedies more uh, you know uh, seminars business seminars i'll go to like more business events so, yeah, be more responsible. We're all getting older, right? So, oh, also, guys, let me know. Uh, what, what is your plans for 2019? Please leave a comment at the bottom. Tell me, what, it, what is your plans? What was, the, what was the challenges that you had for 2018 and you want to solve that issue for 2019? Or what were some great things that happened in 2018 and you want to make it better for 2019? Please leave a comment. I want to know, and yes, I will respond. I always do. And once again, guys, my name is A Max with the facts. Peace.